I've been married for 24 years. I met my wife on a job. Back in 1974, he came to my mother's house to look at a bathroom. Came on a Saturday morning with his father. And he kept doing this, like looking at me. I thought, well, what's this guy looking at, you know? <laughs> Dated for six years before we were married. And I thought, when I first met him, well, he has his own business. They lay you up. He'll be able to have a flexible All schedule. Right. You know, he'll be able to take time off. But not so, not the case here. With Eddie, what you see is what you get. Wow, it's cold. He's a hard worker and he wants to make money, but like to a fault. Toilets. He can't let a phone ring without answering it. Hi, it's Greg. So it just is, you know, mind boggling to me sometimes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do you function like this? So what do we have here? Well, we have a, guy, a lady who's not home. She's on vacation, and, uh, and a friend came by to look at the apartment, and the tub's full of water, the toilet's full of water, the sink's full of water, and she's not home. So where did it all come from? Good morning. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take a look, see what you got. What am I going to do with this? Where's Dorothy? She's been in Florida. She's been sick. Been down there for about a, for about a month and a half. Yo. Oh. Look what happened here. Yeah. All right, let's go down the cellar. There are people who prey on the elderly. I look at the elderly as old customers, friends of the family kind of a thing, and I try to treat them with respect and do the right thing. Uh, kids are toilet paper and everything in that trap, right? And this drain is, drain is plugged all the way from here all the way up to the first floor, which means it's full of toilet paper and feces and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you're going to have a ton of toilet paper and crap all over the floor here. What? You're going to have a ton of toilet paper and crap all over the floor. No, no you're going to. You're going to when I pop that off. And this is going to be a mess. This is not going to be pleasant. <sighs> what we're going to do is we're going to try catching as much in the barrel. Quite honestly, we're not going to catch that much. But this company, this is your insurance company will pay for the damage. But we'll have to have a company come in here and, and, and disinfect the place. It's gonna have to be. This is gonna be fun, guys. Watch out. That's everything that's upstairs coming down now. Oh, I yeah. Now you know I don't want my son to be a plumber. I'll kill him. Eddie, you'll have to do all that for that. The insurance and everything. I don't know what to do here. Well, I'll give you a name of... Eddie, no, you got to do it. I can't do it. Man, what's in there? I'm 90 years old, for Christ's sake. Come on. Uh, Eddie, give me a break. Uh, we'll, make a, we'll make a phone call for you. Eddie, that. I'm 90, please. Thank you very much. All right, bye-bye. They're paging the company now, OK? Yeah, they'll come here. But they're going to call you in a little while. Well, we're all going to be there someday. One of the problems being in business for as long as we have is that my customers who were maybe 30, 40 years old and you know, they grew up one or two kids, well, I'm doing work for their kids, but the, the parents now are 70, 80, 90 years old and uh, you just can't walk away from them. <laughs>